I'm Celine, and I'm from England. Awesome. Okay, so are you in quarantine? Um, not properly, but we're all having to stay at home, mm-hmm. uh, just for the safety of others. Mm-hmm. And how long have you been at home? Um, two days. <laughs> like, are you happy that you've uh, been home for two days, or do you wish that you would have stayed home earlier? Earlier, yeah. Um, don't I don't really have a preference on the time. Uh, I wish it just never happened because in education wise, we're missing a lot of that out. So it's going to cause issues for exams next year and things. Mm-hmm. Are you doing online school? Uh, yeah, our school have got an app called Show My Homework, and they're going to update um with work every hour according to our schedule, and then we're going to follow through that. Is it the same schedule as you were using before? Yeah, so in school, like our timetable, they're going to keep to that timetable and we're going to have our lessons in the same order. And you have a brother, right? Yeah. Is Has your brother started online school yet? Um, he's starting tomorrow as well. Yeah. Have you guys hung out more often now that you're home all the time? No, really. He stays in his room, and that's it. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so, are you worried about the coronavirus? Um, yes, I know. Because, obviously, you don't really have much of an impact for our, our generation and the younger people, except if it's just going to impact our education, so exams and everything like that. Um, but it's going to have more of an impact on your older folks and family members, like your grandparents, so because they've got a bigger risk of getting it so they've got to be more cautious and careful with where they're going and who they're seeing Mm. and everything like that are you worried for anyone in particular in your family yeah my granddad he's in a care home uh so they've locked down that care home so then it shouldn't be like transmitted i guess or Mm -hmm. passed on and then my nan is obviously self-isolating at home yeah um what are you doing to keep yourself busy uh, mainly just on my phone watching Netflix. What's your favorite yeah. Netflix show right now? Well, I just watched the, you know, The Lesson for the King. No. I, it's just a new thing that came out on Friday. I said I was gonna watch the whole season in one, like in the space of five hours. Mm-hmm. So I watched all of that. It was pretty. Good. I think we've yeah. all been there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is your family doing to keep themselves busy? Um, they're generally watching the TV, the news, some of them, same thing, making food. <laughs> yeah. Um, so who in your family is going to the store and have they said that anything's running out in particular? Um, yeah, my mum's been mainly going to the store more recently and the toilet paper's running out, pasta's <laughs> running out, bread, run- bread is running out. It's all quite crazy. <laughs> However, I have said that um on the news that people should stop panicking and not be buying as much food as they should because then people who just come out of self-isolation when they're coming to buy the necessities and they're struggling to buy it because everything's disappeared they were saying to think for others and not buy as much (laughs) yeah um what's something positive that's come out of this coronavirus pandemic thing (laughs) Well, um, one thing that's been saying around in our school is that even the coronavirus is still happening and things, pollution's going down, which is a big thing. That's quite good. Is there any pollution problems in particular that have gone down? (laughs) Yeah, not really sure. I just know that pollution's gone down. (laughs) Um, So that's that's it. Do you have any other Ah. thoughts? Like anything else that you want to say or mention? Not really, except I think people are just overreacting, I guess, a bit with the whole thing. Um, as there's been jokes made out of it, like, um, you know, uh, having to walk around. No, how England didn't take, take it seriously uh, compared to other countries. And then obviously now with people just buying more food, even though there's other people who need it more. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.